now that we have that wire back in place, pushed up into the bead, we can start our thread behind it and start to work on our thread ramp and our body taper, overall under body taper. So we'll get it started there and we can clip out our excess. And then work on that underbody. And just work a quick ramp up onto the wire and then secure it all in place just to hold everything down nice and snug. And then we can go back and prepare to wrap in our wire, our ribbing. So I'll work back to right about where that barb is and then add our wire. So I like to measure my wire so that it'll land right about where that lead wire starts. Uh, there's a lead free wire rather. That way it helps to uh, smooth out that taper. Helps the transition a little bit. And then from there we can wrap in or tie in our flash boo. So I'm gonna use this Magnum flash boo to help cover the body. And we'll do two strands of it here. And we can tie those in the length of the, the shank right up into the bead. So right back to where our thread ends, securing it, and then working on forward. Securing it to the hook shank. And just make sure we got a transition that we like here. And then we can start to wrap that material forward. A couple of half inches, throw that bobbin over on your cradle. And then we will rotate forward. So nice and snug. So that this doesn't want to unravel on you before you get that wire wrapped over it. And just making sure we're covering all that thread underneath. Now that we have that flash blue wrapped up to the bead, we'll go ahead and secure it off with our tying thread with a few wraps there. And then we can clip it out. We don't want that, any of that to move on us while we get ready to do our pine squirrel here. So I have it measured out and prepped, ready to go. All I did is took the hide and measured one hook shank and then transferred that on back to be our tail. And then I also stripped some of the fur from the hide on the front end for a nice clean tie-in point here. And we'll do that and just secure it on. And then we can half finish once again. And bring our wire forward, securing the hide to the hook shank. So that wire that we left back here now comes into play. And we're just gonna bring one wrap down and under. And we can part our pine squirrel hair here. Trying not to trap any of it and secure it straight on top of the hook. So now we'll just open wrap forward. Keeping everything in place. And if you do trap any hair, we'll come back through with our bodkin or dubbing needle and clean that out, pull it out. Love this purple flashy color for deep pools, dark days, really get some attention, deep water, those big boys are hiding. All right, so we wrapped all the way forward. Now I'm gonna capture that wire off with my tying thread. And we can get ready to finish our thorax here. So make sure that's all snug. Capture it off there. So 
So like I said, I'll come in with a needle here and pull out some of that hair. Tell me why the trapped under the wire. The squirrel had a little bald spot right there, it looks like. Didn't notice before. All right, so now that that piece is tied in, we're gonna take another piece of squirrel, and this is gonna be the collar. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull some of that hair right off the tip of the hide for a clean tie-in point. And then I always like to trim my hide at an angle. And so if you trim it at the angle that you're gonna wrap, it helps you kind of get that first wrap to be a little bit cleaner. So just like so, a little point. And we'll tie that in right behind the bead here. So I like a, a decent sized thorax. I'm gonna work back about the bead length and then we'll bring that pine squirrel right on around. So half hitch out so that the thread stays in place. And we can grab this zonker. See it already naturally wants to go that side, which is great. Now I'm just gonna wrap it forward and kind of pull those fibers back, the hair back as I go with just a few wraps around the, the collar here. So three or four until you get seated up into that bead and then we can capture that out. Gonna wrap forward, capture that hair that hide a couple of times here. And we can clip out that excess material. Sometimes I like to use just a little bit of dummy wax, saliva, just something to kind of help get those, the hair to be trained rearward a little bit. And then we can give her a nice whip finish. Great fly from the master that is John Barr. Can be tied in lots of different colors. Black is probably one of the most popular. Um, olive and other colors as well work well. Simple tie to fly and can really whip out a bunch and, and be super effective on the water in many different water types, rivers, lakes, um, many, many locations. The Slump Buster is gonna get it done for you.